Greetings everybody, welcome to another short tutorial involving one of the many bosses in Don't Starve Together, Dragonfly. Today, Beard will show how the player can farm her scales so you can go from this to this. Now, we aren't actually killing D-Fly for this method, but you will still be getting enough time to strike that making several armor pieces is advised. So get to crafting those wood armors. In early game, a spear isn't too shabby, but you aren't going to get anywhere with a 34 damage total weapon. We need to do better. Get the materials, make a hand bat, and you'll thank me later. At 59.5 damage and no durability, say goodbye to your useless spear. Note that the hand bat spoils, which in turn decreases damage over time. To go a step above, get a shadow manipulator and the resources needed to craft a dark sword. At 68 damage, you're looking good now. However, your sanity will continuously drop while wielding one, so be careful. Since we are facing down a big bad, we need healing. Head to your crockpots and put one meat item, an egg, a veggie, and filler in order to nab yourself a great healing food, pierogies. Make several as you'll likely need them. Or you can farm your own healing foods with one of my favorites, dragon fruit. Get planting. Once you got them, put one dragon fruit into a crock pot along with three twigs. Just make sure not to be me and screw up the quick timing by just misclicking everything. With our pockets stuffed with weapons and foodies, it's time to find the dragonfly. If you watched Beard's previous tutorial on Dragonfly, you know how to determine if you're in the right place. But if you don't, you need to find the desert biome with the magma pools, roundish cacti, and tumbleweeds bouncing around. Not the desert with the oasis. If you're not that observant, or you forgot the distinctions between the deserts, something tells me that you'll know it when you see it. It's incredibly unlikely you'll be able to do this alone, even with the mighty Wolfgang, so I enlisted the help of another. With folks in position and weapons ready, it's time to start. Get her aggro and run her out of the arena, but not too far. Then, begin the smackdown. This whole farming technique rides on the player's ability to deal a significant amount of damage in a relatively short amount of time. If done properly, Dragonfly will drop to the ground and players must watch for the popping of the scale. Once you see it drop, grab it and run further away from D-Fly's arena. Once she gets far enough away, she will de-aggro and the fight is technically over. Upon returning to the arena, D-Fly might not be there, but she will be soon with her full health back. Thus. The farming begins. Continue to draw her aggro, lead her slightly away, beat her up, take what is yours, and skedaddle. You are now farming D-Fly scales efficiently. You know the basics, now just rinse and repeat to your heart's content. And be sure to have some fun while you're at it. With only a couple minutes of farming under your belt, you'll have more scales than you know what to do with. But what can you do with them, actually? Well, back home with our alchemy engine, and within the structures tab, we can find two recipes which use these brand new scales. Scale flooring, aka turf, and the scaled chest. Scale flooring is placed just like any other turf within the game, but it does stand out by having a slight warming effect if you stand on it. The scaled chest not only looks bigger, it is bigger. With one extra row of space, these can come in handy within base. Plus, scaled chests are immune to fire, 
so no need to worry about them catching a blaze and the contents burning with it. Let's just say that you killed D-Fly after messing around for a bit. Use the scaled furnace blueprint she drops to learn a whole new recipe. Head into the structures tab once more and find the scaled furnace waiting for you. As a constant source of light and heat, a scaled furnace is a must-have for many players out there. Plus, you can cook on it. Heck, they are so good in fact, that when winter rolls around and you find yourself near them to get warm, you may even overheat for Pete's sake. So there you have it folks, a short video on how to farm scales from the formidable dragonfly, and how to put them to use. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.